Okay, so this is another example of perhaps where um, we're going to be using fractions within a particular question, but the question itself is really wordy. Um, it's quite difficult to kind of see the wood for the trees, really. They've also started to use this whole idea of percentage. Okay, but let's break it down to its component parts. What they're saying is that 35 out of 56 of the congregation or of the choir members are female. Excellent, we can do that because we know that we can use this whole idea of equivalent fractions to reduce these numbers down a little bit. So remember right in the beginning of when we started the course we said this line here means out of. So we can use the English of this particular word problem and start to then produce something that is a bit more mathematically familiar. Okay, so 35 out of 56, well that's fine, I can divide through by 7, so that becomes 5 and that becomes 8. So actually what we're saying is, is 5 eighths of the congregation or of the choir is female. And the question asks, what's that as a percentage? Well, 5 eighths is um, the same as saying 5 eighths of 100. Okay, so in other words, percent means out of 100. So it's what part of 100 is 5 eighths. Does that make sense? I hope that's okay for you. Um, it's one of the things that percentages, decimals and fractions are very much interchangeable. But remember, 100% means one. It means one whole one. It means everything there is is 100%. So 50% is half of that, which means a half, or 25% is a quarter of that, which means a quarter. So what we're saying is, is that it's five eighths of the hundred. Okay, so I can use now equivalent fractions to reduce this a little bit further. So if I divide the top and bottom by two, I get four over 50, or 50 over four. I'm gonna divide it through by two again, I get two and 25. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, I can work that out fairly easily because I know 5 times 25 is 125 divided by 2 and if I divide 125 by 2 I get 62 and a half okay so 62.5 percent is the percentage of female members of this particular choir it's 35 out of 56 which very neatly divides into 5 out of 8. Make that of 100 to find out what percentage it is, and it works out at 62.5. Okay, now that takes a little bit of time to kind of flow through, and I think in this course it's very hard just to uh, pick up on some of these in isolation, but hopefully you'll be able to see that reducing is really what I'm trying to get across as part of this course. Okay, so 62.5%. And then the final question is it says um, 40%, so 40% of the female members are uh, wear glasses. I think that's right, wear glasses. So it's 40% of 35. Okay, well you know what's coming now. I'm going to make this into a fraction, so 40% is the same as saying 40 out of 100, and of means multiply 35. Okay, so that's the calculation that we need to go through, and again, I can simplify that calculation as much as I want. I can divide through by 10, and that becomes 4 over 10. I'm going to divide through again by uh, 2, that becomes 2, and that becomes 5. I'm going to divide through again, that becomes 1, and that becomes 7. So my calculation is 2 times 7, which is 14. Okay, so 14 of the members of the congregation wear glasses. So I've now got 14 out of the 56 members of the congregation. So I've got 14 out of 56 
Okay, I'm going to reduce that through, and if I divide through by 7, it becomes 2 over 8. If I divide through by 2 again, it becomes 1 quarter. So it's actually 1 quarter of the members of the calculation of the uh, congregation of the choir wear glasses. Again, I hope that's okay for you. This has become, if I divide that through by 7, it becomes 2 over 8. And that becomes 1 over 4. Okay, so it's all these out ofs and ofs and all that that you need to really look very deeply into the question to make sure that you understand the English that's being used and then convert that English into maths to be able to get through to your final calculation. Okay, now we are coming towards the end of this particular course with these sorts of questions are becoming a little bit tricky, but I might uh, have a look at uh, putting together a few more videos just to give you a few more examples of how this works, but I hope now you're beginning to get up to speed with how we can reduce these calculations to make them a little bit easier for ourselves. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.